Hi everyone, I'm John and welcome back to the channel. Lately, in 2024, it's raining with harmonic mounts. We started to have many new harmonic mounts that will make the decision which mount to buy more difficult. This year I decided to buy my first harmonic mount and I was looking for an affordable mount with a larger payload capacity than my older equatorial mount to be able to use up to 10 inch telescopes to have better guiding and tracking performance with better go to and also with great portability. There are more aspects and specifications to check when you buy a new mount like uh, tracking and guiding performance, motors, torque, payload capacity, price, software, customer service. To keep this video shorter and uh, simple, I will focus more on payload capacity and price and in the end we'll talk a little also about customer service. And now let's begin with one of the most popular mounts, the ZWO M5 harmonic mount. Recently ZWO replaced the older M5 version with a new one and we have now the new M5 harmonic equatorial mount with 298 US dollars more expensive. I already have a video about the old M5 that I've bought just before the new M5 appeared. I also made a video about the M5 and the new M5 model. You can check it out if you want to learn more about the differences between the two mounts. The new M5 model will work also with 15 kilograms without counterweight and uh, with counterweight will have the same uh, payload of 20 kilograms. And another important change is the precision control, single period error within 10 arc seconds. That means the tracking will be better and probably also the guiding will be more accurate. So we have better accuracy. We have some changes here on the motors having higher torque and the new model will be able to work also without the counterweight with uh, also heavier telescopes. This was the major differences between the new one and the old one. Why well, I think there are some good reasons of going with the M5 is the good experience that people had with the old version and also ZW have here premium service, one-on-one -on -one dedicated service. Uh, they have a lot of dealers all over the world and also if something happens you might be able to send it somewhere close or uh, to repair it, not necessarily to send it in China. So these are some advantages of uh, going with the W M5 mount. Now let's continue also with the other mounts. My next choice would be two mounts from Skywatcher, the new Wave 100i and Wave 150i. These two mounts were uh, announced at NIF 2024. I didn't see, unfortunately, any review yet on YouTube about the uh, Wave 100 and 150. And let's go fast and see here the specs. We'll start with the Wave 100i. This uh, mount is actually cheaper. The price is currently 1,695 US dollars. It has also EQ and Altazimut mods weights only 4.3 kilograms so it's very good uh, option to travel with it can uh, carry 10 kilograms without counterweight and 15 kilograms with counterweight usually i focus more on mounts that can carry heavier payload but because it can carry up to 15 kilograms i also consider this mount as an option but looking more at the specs i notice it can carry also 20 kilograms if you'll use two telescopes. So here has some exclusive features like dual saddles. Comes standard with a secondary saddle that mounts over the counterweight port, allowing users to mount up to 10 kilograms or, or 20 pounds of equipment on each saddle in alt azimuth mode. So if you use this mount in alt azimuth, you'll be able to mount two telescope setups up to 10 kilograms each. Also has fast slewing, 
Track satellites and space stations with the waves slew rate of 10 degrees per second and the downloadable satellite striker application for Windows PC found on the Skywatcher International Support website. Now let's check also the Wave 150i strain wave mount that can uh, handle larger payload and this is very attractive especially for the price. You can find this mount at 2195 US dollars actually a little bit cheaper than the new M5. Here are specifications. We have again equatorial and uh, altazimut modes, built-in cable management. So here we have a nice advantage having connectivity ports directly on the saddle, two output ports and USB and guide port and also some other ports here below. This mount can carry up to 25 kilograms payload capacity if you use also the optional counterweight. And this is important in case you want to upgrade your telescope, you want to go with a larger one, you have aperture fever, then having 25 kilograms definitely is an advantage. Uh, however, it makes me wonder why without the optional counterweight, it has a limit of only 10 kilograms. Let's see if this is correct. 33 pounds. Okay, 33 pounds is actually 15 kilograms. Yeah. <laughs> so they made a mistake on the website. Yeah, it's actually 15 kilograms here. I, w I was like uh, wondering how it's only 10 kilograms without counterweight if it's 25 with the counterweight on. <laughs> so Skywatcher, be careful on your uh, conversions. <laughs> we have here a single hybrid saddle, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity, RA power of braking function, RA and deck home position functions, again optional tripod pill extension and counterweight. And it does have also OTA balancing. Unique to the strain wave mounts currently on the market, Skywatcher Larger Wave 150i also features the ability to balance the OTA on the RA and deck axis, adding to the overall stability, security and performance of the system. So this is a nice feature. And we have also fast slewing, track satellites and space stations with the wave's swift slew rate of 10 degrees per second. And also we have a uh, satellite tracker application for Windows PC the same as 100i model. Now let's take a first look also on other uh, harmonic mounts on the market. We have a new mount that I've recently heard of, EM31 Pro. This mount has ultra high loading capacity without counterweight up to 15 kilograms and with counterweight 20 kilograms multiple operating modes, German, Alt-Azimuth and Alt-Azimuth top mounted mode patent. Lightweight equipment, it weights only 4 kilograms, so it's very lightweight, very mobile, very portable. Let's see a little bit the features of this mount and some images. We have here, it seems also a socket for attaching a polar alignment camera like a Pole Master that will make polar alignment easier. Polar alignment is very well uh, done and easy to make on this mount. And you can see more information about this uh, mount. It seems to be very well built. And the price, let's see where is the price. Let's check also the price. US $2,500, but includes VAT. Now let's continue. See the next mount. Yumi 17 Lite, uh, price 1280 US dollars. So this is cheaper, it seems. Shipping cost, tax, and VAT included. So this is also an uh, affordable mount to consider. Mount type equatorial and alt azimuth, supported softwares, ACL, Nina, K Stars, and others. We have 10 to 13 kilograms without counterweight, so similar with the M5, but 15, 18 kilograms with counterweight. Higher limits are only for payload with low center of mass. Counterweight bar maximum 3 kilograms. I believe this mount is lighter than the M5, 
and because of this you cannot get up to 20 kilograms weight of the mount only 2.8 kilograms not including the altazimuth base but you you need the base also i'm not sure if this is available in stores in uh for the moment in other stores since it's available on the site okay so this was the yumi 17 light also an affordable amount to consider buying in 2024 and now let's continue with the second part on uh, more expensive mounts but still affordable however with about one thousand dollars extra if you have a larger budget then you can also buy mounts that will have even higher payload capacity over 20 kilograms and we have here one mount from iOptron, the M44, M44 hybrid mount, iPolar, and it can hold with a, a counterweight up to 25 kilograms. Without counterweight, it can carry up to 20 kilograms of astronomy equipment, and the price is around 3,000 US dollars. And let's continue mount we have the pegasus astro nyx 101 v2 so this mount i'm also considered buying has a payload up to 25 kilograms capacity with the counterweight attached this mount weighs 6.4 kilograms also a little bit heavier than that the m5 and supports 20 kilograms without counterweights it has also a pole master adapter in front so you can use also a pole master to help with polar alignment so this is another mount with heavier payload at am5 that i considered buying and you can check more here on the website about this mount this is priced also a little bit over 3000 us let's go to the last one warp drive wd20 it costs about 3200 us dollars it's also very lightweight, only 5.4 kilograms, uh, similar with the M5. But looking on the specifications on the payload, 22 kilograms without the counterweight bar and 30 kilograms with the counterweight bar at a distance of, I believe, 24 centimeters from center of gravity. Well, my friends, looking on all these mounts, which one should you buy? I guess this will be a personal choice. You should uh, also check the other specifications in more details. In my personal opinion, according to price, weight, these two are my favorite choices, the Skywatcher and the AM5. The Skywatcher mount is currently a new mount. We do not know exactly how well it will perform and it still needs some reviews i would say a discount would not hurt from skywatcher and i'm really curious how this mount will perform so if this mount would have been available my final choice would have been from skywatcher and the m5 this was uh, all for today i hope you find the video useful and it will help you to make a decision on which uh, mount to buy if you have a favorite one even if it's not on this list please let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed watching, don't forget to like and subscribe to the video if you are new. You can find the filler links in the description with each of these mounts if you are interested in uh, buying one. And if you also want to support the channel more, don't forget to check the channel membership where you'll be able also to download my astrophotography data. Don't miss my future videos with harmonic mounts like the ZWM5. And until next time, I wish you clear sky.